ladies and gentlemen. You know, there's a picture that have surfaced of a 15-year-old Jerry Jones from 1957. And, you know, America, this is what happens when you set ridiculous standards and then you get caught and snared in your own standards. When it came down to Bill Cosby and the women that were coming forward, some of them from the 60s, it's never long enough when it's a black man. We never hear you say, well, the 60s, that's not, that's really a long time ago. No, you didn't say that. You know what you were saying? Oh, well, there's no statute of limitation and no, you know, they can still go after them. That's the kind of stuff you were saying. So, no, you don't get to come back when it's Jerry Jones and say, well, it was the times. No, no. Mm -mm. You don't get to do that. And, oh, it's a still shot. He was just looking. Trust me. Your folks were very emboldened back then. He did a hell of a lot more than just look on. And I would like to see if these black men and women are still alive and what they have to say about this whole thing. See, I would believe them. But Jerry Jones, no, I wouldn't believe a word he would say about those times. I wouldn't believe nothing from him. And then you have the Jewish community that go after 90 and 100 year Nazis. And a lot of times these are people in still shots. It never seems to be a long time ago. It never seems to be, oh, well, you know, it was the times back then. We don't hear that stuff from you. See, when you set these double standards and then somebody like Jerry Jones get caught up in those double standards, you don't get to come back and make excuses up that you think are acceptable. If it wasn't acceptable for Bill Cosby, it's not acceptable for Jerry Jones. And yeah, you can say, well, that wasn't illegal. Yeah, but see, y'all legalize your crimes. You've always done that. You've done it from the beginning. You legalize your crime. Civil forfeiture. Oh, well, um, you know, you, you enslaved a whole group. Well, that wasn't a crime. That was the law. That's, see, that's what you do. You legalize your crimes. No, those are your laws. Certainly not the laws that are in the Bible. And, and you know, and it's funny how um, they'll come and say, well, slavery was in the Bible. Yeah. And you know what else is in that Bible? Your destruction. Your destruction is in that Bible, too. But we, 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 we won't get into that right now because we're talking about Jerry Jones. But your destruction is in that same Bible. And that same Bible says, he who lead into captivity shall go into captivity. So don't talk about one, but not the other. If you're going to talk about slavery being in the Bible, you need to also talk about your destruction being in that same Bible. So, ladies and gentlemen, do we accept this was the times? 
when we have seen other examples of them not accepting that it was just a long time ago and it's the times and and stuff no no i don't i don't i think jerry jones should be held up to the standards that you have set for others and i mean it really doesn't matter you know because no matter what you say at this point you can't change public opinion but we know how this is going to go, y'all. We know the double standards are coming. The excuses are coming. We already know. This is so standard USA, it's not even funny. So, y'all... You'll have to tell me what you think. I mean, a still shot don't prove he didn't do nothing. Any more than a still shot of a Nazi that says he didn't do nothing. He was just standing there in the photo. I mean, you can say that with a lot of things. You could even say that with Jeffrey Dahmer. Jeffrey Dahmer was just standing in photos too. But we know he did way more than just stand in those photos. Aren't there pictures of John Wayne Gacy? And we know what he did. There were still shots of him. So you can't go by that. And you know it. Y'all know it when you're sitting there saying the same stuff about Jerry Jones. Aren't there still shots of Charles Manson? But just because there's a still shot of somebody, it doesn't mean they didn't do anything. Right? Right? But you know what, y'all? Just... Watch what they do over the next few days. Watch the media try to spin this in a way that gets him. Well, he was only 15 at the time. Well, you don't know nothing by looking at that photo. Well, you can say that about a lot of photos. You can say that about a lot of photos, even recent stuff. Shanquella. Robinson was in photos with what she thought were her friends. If you would have looked at those photos, you would have thought they were a close-knit group of people. But it didn't turn out that way at all. A photo can't tell you what actions a person take. No, So when I look at this photo, no, it doesn't exonerate him at all. But see, the moral of this story is don't set standards so high for somebody else. And then when you get caught up in the snare, we're supposed to see it a whole different way. It doesn't work. And it's not going to be acceptable, just like it's not acceptable to you. It's not going to be acceptable to others when it comes down to Jerry Jones. You want public apologies and you want to squeeze money out of people and sensitivity this and sensitivity that. And this photo also explains why you don't want CRT taught in this country. This is a good example of it right here. If these men, I'm talking about 
the black teens in the picture that are now elders are still alive? Tell us your experience and tell us if you remember Jerry Jones saying anything to you. If these folks are still alive, that's who I would get the information from and no one else. There is nothing the mainstream news got to say that I want to listen to when it comes down to this. Because you have a long history of spinning these sort of stories, even back when they were happening. So I really don't want to hear from you. But y'all, please tell me what you think. You know, and, and remember, this is the media that published lynchings. Remember, they, they published it in the paper, the time and the place and where to be. No, I really don't want to hear from you when it comes down to something like this. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.